all my craziest friends. I am doing an empties video. Sorry, I have a really ugly zit. I have not had zits in so long, but I have one. Don't look at it. Um, yes, I've been so stinking busy the last couple weeks that I have not had time to do a video. I have, right at this very moment, 200 pounds of apples, thereabouts, sitting in the back of my van waiting to be canned. So, guess what I'll be doing today? Oh my gosh! We had picture day today, and I had got all the kids' pictures. I'm going crazy, I'm going crazy! I got too much to do! Okay, so, empties video. Um, I have three candles that I have gone through and about four scent shots. So, I will just get going here. So, my first one that I finished was Star of Bethlehem. And you see the wax at the bottom and say, it's not empty. I can see that. Um, I had decided that I was going to start making some emergency candles, so I've just been sloppily pouring all of my old wax in there. Um, so I have a, an emergency candle now and I need it. So I'll just put this in my storage room. Um, Star of Bethlehem is a massively underrated Christmas scent. If you have not tried Star of Bethlehem, you need to try at least a scent shot of it. It is so amazing. To me, it reminds me of like old world Christmas. It's very... It just, it just reminds me of an old world Christmas. It's kind of got, I know it's got frankincense and myrrh and orange and something else in it. So, um, keep going, Micah. There's more down there. <sighs> Sorry, we're fetching jars. Um, it, you can smell the orange in it, but the, the frankincense and myrrh give it this, it's not a musk fragrance. It's kind of like an, a softly earthy, um, welcoming spice. It's just got this lovely, wonderful, I picture Christmas every time I smell it. It smells so good. Um, yeah, try a scent shot. If you don't like it, then send it to me because I will gladly use it. Um, my next one, another emergency candle, was in peppermint bark. This one I decided to dual wick. Um, and the funny thing is with all of these in here, I can still smell the peppermint bark so insanely strong. Oh my gosh. It's peppermint bark is amazing. It was one of my first, um, CBV purchases. I love the peppermint bark. You get this awesome pepperminty, goodness and then there's the white chocolate. I'm not sure if it's got dark or milk chocolate in it as well but you get this creamy peppermint. It's kind of like and ironically I have it right here Eskimo Kisses. Um, Eskimo Kisses is more creamy spearmint and peppermint bark is more creamy peppermint. So they're they're similar, but their peppermint notes are a different note. And oh, I love that peppermint bark. And another one, ironically, this one is a surprise candle. <laughs> it looks like a surprise candle. Um, a surprise candle, if you have never tried one, they're so fun. I love the surprise candles. Every time I make an order, I try and put a surprise candle in my basket. Um, they're just a, a good way to try out a bunch of different scents. And sometimes Victoria can help you figure out what they are. And sometimes she won't know. Cause like, I think one time I had gotten uh pomegranate cider in mine and I kind of described the notes in the smell that I was smelling to her. And she said, Oh, that sounds like pomegranate cider. So she might be able to help you identify at least your first layer because then they kind of just meld together after that. <laughs> so, um, oh, I lied. I have four candles. I just finished this one. 
orange and clove orange clove rather this is another one that does not get enough love um this smells straight up orange and clove it's like that friendship tea that everybody makes in the fall this is a fall and winter smell to me it is so welcoming and so warming if i'm feeling snuggly and i want to just hunker under some blankets this is a perfect scent for that I've had a couple people come in and they're like, oh, what does that smell? It smells so good in here. And I'm like, well, it's orange clove. Um, it smells just like that. I, I think it's called like Russian tea or friendship tea. I think it's got two names, but this smells amazing. I love this smell. Oh, sad to be out of it. Scent shots. Our first one is caramel macchiato. Um... This one, I like this one. It, the caramel is not that typical butter caramel. It's just like a sweet brown sugary caramel, caramel. And the, the coffee that's in there is like a roasted, almost nutty type of coffee. And it's a good balance between the two of them. I really liked that one. One I've had for quite a while is Yuletide. Um, this one, I really like this one. It's different. It's different than I normally go for because it's kind of an earthy fragrance. It's like, um, some kind of citrus, which I want to say is orange and like a cedar wood almost. It's got that very aromatic earthy wood. And this one's really nice. I really, really enjoyed that one. Another one I've had for quite a while, Home Sweet Home. I think I got this one in a round robin box forever ago. And so the scent may have dissipated quite a bit, but this one was a soft, just spicy, welcome home type smell. Mm, that one was good. And last but not least, blackberry caramel rice pudding. Oh, my back is killing me. I love Victoria's blackberry scents. I love them so much. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you showing everybody your piece of apple peel? Okay, sit down. Sit down. Put it down. Um, her blackberry scents are just <laughs> lovely. Smell that. Does that smell good? Yeah. <laughs> like, and it's really weird because you can smell, uh, stop, you can smell the rice pudding portion of it and the caramel just kind of gives it a sweet, a sweet fragrance. So it's like blackberry rice pudding. Rice pudding. Rice pudding. So it is very, very good. I really love that one. Um, so yeah, that's it for all of my empties right now. I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Don't forget to leave me comments. I love hearing from you. So I know that you guys have seen my videos. <laughs> all right, say bye-bye, Gray. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say see you later. See you later. See you later.